Hi, this is Chris. Welcome to part two of making an altered book loose leaf binder garden journal. And that's a real mouthful. So in part one I show how I picked this book and how I gutted it, how I lined the inside, how I chose um, some decorative papers. And so next I'm going to finish up um, roughing up this cover. I want to, since this is a glossy um, vinyl coated book, I want to rough it up. And so I've been working on that. I masked out where this will go. And this will go here. And this little blue bluebird will go up here. So I'm going to continue doing that. I've um, used my X-Acto knife and in some places was actually able to peel off the vinyl. And I think what I want is to make sure that these um, titles and text don't show through my papers when I Mod Podge them on. So I'm going to continue to scrape and sand this and then I might put some acrylic uh, paint over it, some white paint over it before I actually Mod Podge on top. Well that makes a mess. It makes a mess and it's all staticky because it's uh, I'm scraping off the plastic coating. And so now I've got all this staticky crumbs. But I'm going to continue uh, doing some sanding and some, just some smoothing. And then I will come back and we'll do a little um, painting with some white acrylic paint. See how that works. It's all new to me. I haven't worked on this type of a surface before. Craft Smart White Acrylic Paint. It's kind of old, so I hope it's still working. From 2015. There we go. have some inexpensive Walmart brushes that I'll use with it. I've painted this. It's almost dry. I'm going to let it dry a little bit more and then I'm going to sand it again because where the paper was scraped the acrylic paint lifted it. going to start with the back first. And this is where we'll put our back cover. This is kind of old also. It's really thick. So I'm going to start and just lay it down a little bit at a time. Make sure I get it where I want it. Excuse 
my little cutting mat like a squeegee. that dry. Okay, well that's continuing to dry. I'm going to fit my spine piece. So my spine piece will go just like this. Now if you missed last week, this is a um, jelly print runoff paper, wipe off paper, where I wiped the paint off of my brayer. And so that's acrylic, so that, that didn't need any treatment other than just glue it down with the Mod Podge. This, however, is a digital, so I sprayed this with a clear fixative so that the moisture doesn't cause the ink to run, and I hope that that works. It has worked for me before. So now we just need to get that on there straight. I want to be sure and overlap the edges a little bit just to help to keep the edges from coming up through use, through wear and tear. So now we'll let that dry. I'll be back in just a second and we'll put in the mechanism. This is dry now and so what I'm going to do is install the mechanism and then off camera I'm going to do a little more decorating to the book. I'm going to um, do some decorating around here. The original image had these vines and so I pulled out my uh, different browns in here and I'm going to integrate this image with the background by um, putting in some vines and I might put some down the edge and I'm just going to make it all look cohesive. But first we're going to put in our mechanism. So I need to repunch these holes and I'm using my leather punch and I showed this on part one, of course. And it's not going to punch through that little tiny paper. So I'm making a mark so I can see where it is. And I can see it right there. The paper is still a little bit damp and it has the Mod Podge on top, so it's kind of soft. But that doesn't matter, just need to know where it is. So we'll put in our little posts. I think I called them grommets last time, but I don't think they're really grommets. And this opens either way, there's no top or bottom. So we drop that on the posts and then we put in these little screws that came with it. I didn't bring
bring a screwdriver with me, but maybe my tweezers will work. They're a little bit too big, so I have to go find a screwdriver. Okay, I found a screwdriver. And I think this bit will work. This is a handy screwdriver. It has a magnet on the end, so if you drop something under the table or something, under your workbench, hopefully you can get it. I want to do it till it's tight, not force it any further. And there it is. I showed this one in part one, and they're the same size. And they're based on this journal, which uh, is a Martha Stewart journal, and it's getting pretty worn out. I've been using it for several years as my uh, where to go journal, my financial tracking. And so this one has the rings on the back, fastened to the back, and the cover wraps over it. And that's how I did this one. So on this one, I put the rings on the back, you see they're attached right here, and the cover wraps over it. So on this one I decided that I wanted to do like an old fashioned notebook, like the kind that I grew up with, where the rings are on the spine. And I'll see how that goes, I'll see what the difference is in, in working with so in part three, I'm going to make dividers, and I'm going to make some pages on my computer that will be specifically for my garden journal. And uh, I will probably have this painted and decorated before then. So thanks for watching, and have a great day crafting. Bye-bye!